This is Jack Bankhead of Any Day Reviews, bringing you understandable reviews. I took a look at Combat Core for the Nintendo Switch, and let's just say it's a roughly polished gemstone. I'll be frank, I've never played Power Stone. Combat Core gives a look at what it could be like for me. It's not a good look. Combat Core has some really solid features and mechanics in place, but the need for quality of life improvements and various technical problems bar this fighting game from being something truly amazing. Combat Core is a fighting game like Smash Bros. The major difference, however, is the arena is in a full 3D plane, not a 2D one. Players select a character, their core, and a stage. In the arena, players will fight the other characters by depleting the other stamina to zero, which will remove stock. During a fight, characters can jump, block, dodge, punch, use weapons, and use special powers determined by a core a player chooses. Using your situation as an advantage is how you'll successfully fight the other characters. This can be grabbing your opponent when they are blocking, or using a special power when they are wide open. Combat is quick, fast, and fun. Different characters with varying properties add to the fun and depth. Most character designs are really fun too. Then there's customization. You can choose a core before each fight. With these, you can get different powers and buffs. Choosing an appropriate core for your playstyle is what I spent a fair amount of time on. There's local multiplayer for your friends on the couch with you, bots, and even online. It could be a blast. Combat Core is meant to be played with friends, and there's plenty of settings and characters to have fun with. But here's the biggest problems with Combat Core. Stuttering and short freezes. This makes it mega frustrating when you're playing with friends. There's a lot to like about Combat Core. Like the characters, combat itself, and some thoughtful additions such as waiting an extra second to pause and unpause. But for any fighting game, any, a smooth frame rate, proper input, and no freezes is mandatory. Combat Core occasionally experiences these dips and freezes, and it's not cool when it does. Also, some quality of life improvements could be made. Sound, for instance, always sounds drowned out, never crisp or clear. A clearer idea of what is going on each round would also be nice. Some of my friends had trouble with knowing what was going on. For what it's got, Combat Core could eventually be really good. You just need some fixes and changes. Combat Core was made with an incredibly small team, and I love to see Micah Bet's creation and characters come to life. The work put into this game is incredible. There's even an online foundation. No, I did not play the online. But in this stage, Combat Core needs some attention before it's going to be the Power Stone replacement or Smash Bros. Contender. With that in mind, keep your eye out on Combat Core. Wishlist it. We'll let you know when there's an update or two that fixes these problems. It's a really fun game held back by technical issues. I give Combat Core a needs improvement. Did you enjoy this review? Check out our website, anydayreviews.com, and please like, subscribe, and comment.